Hello dear students, this is Murali from St. Mary's College Shirva. Today I am continuing with problems on calculation of value of taxable supply. Okay. In the last class we have completed with the problem number 2. I hope it was clear to you all. Today we are moving to the problem number 3. Now write the problem number 3. Okay. Problem number 3. Kindly write the problem number 3 in your notes book. Otherwise you will not understand the problem while working out your problem number 3. The problem we are going to solve now is a very important problem. Okay. This question, the question I am going to give now is asked in the year 2018 for 24 marks. Okay. The problem is a very lengthiest one and it was asked for 24 marks in the year 2018. Okay. Kindly write the problem. Okay. From the following information, from the from the following information, from the following information, from the following information, compute the value of taxable supply. Compute the value of taxable supply. Compute the value of taxable supply. Okay. As there are many items in the problem, I will write the items in the short form, but you, uh, you should write, uh, write the items in the full form only. Okay. So, write next slide, write in the next slide. The sales price of rupees, 1,50,000. Okay, write the next line. The sales price, the sales price of rupees, the sales price of rupees one lakh fifty thousand. The sales price of rupees one lakh fifty thousand does not include the following. One lakh fifty thousand does not include the following. Does not include the following. Next line you write one by one. Next line you write one by one. First one, pre-delivery inspection charges. Pre-delivery inspection charges. Pre-delivery inspection charges. Pre-delivery inspection charges. Rupees twenty-five thousand. Pre-delivery, sorry, pre-delivery inspection charges. Rupees. 10,000 rupees 10,000 pre-delivery inspection charges rupees 10,000 okay next one publicity expenses rupees 25,000 next one publicity publicity expenses rupees 25,000 publicity expenses rupees 25,000 publicity expenses rupees 25,000 uh, next one, packing cost. Next one is the packing cost. Packing cost. Packing cost. Packing cost rupees fifteen thousand. Packing cost rupees fifteen thousand. Packing cost rupees fifteen thousand. Next one, cost of special packing. Next one is the cost of Special packing, cost of special packing, cost of special packing rupees 5000, cost of special packing rupees 5000. Okay, right, the next one, materials purchase, right, next one, materials purchased, materials purchased, materials purchased, with the bracket exclusive of GST. With the bracket exclusive of GST. Exclusive of GST. Materials purchase. Materials purchase. Within the bracket exclusive of GST. Rupees 10,000. Rupees. Rupees. 
ten thousand. Rupees ten thousand. Okay. And the next one, design and development charges. Next one, design and development charges. Design and development charges. Rupees. Design and development charges rupees five thousand. Design and development charges rupees five thousand. Next one. Next one royalty charges. Next one is the royalty charges. Next one is the royalty charges. Royalty charges rupees four thousand. Royalty charges rupees four thousand. Okay. Next one, advertising charges. Next one is the advertising charges. Next one is the advertising charges. Rupees of advertising charges rupees fourteen thousand. Advertising charges rupees fourteen thousand. Okay. Next one is the servicing charges. After advertising charges, next one is the servicing charges. Servicing charges rupees five thousand. Next one, servicing charges. Servicing charges rupees. Servicing charges rupees five thousand. Servicing charges rupees five thousand. Okay. Servicing charges rupees five thousand. Next one, selling expenses. Next one is the selling expenses. Next one, selling expenses. Selling expenses rupees. Selling expenses rupees twenty five thousand. Selling expenses rupees twenty five thousand. Okay. Next one is the freight charges. Next one after selling expenses. Next one is the freight charges. Freight charges. Freight charges rupees. Freight charges rupees thirty thousand. Freight charges rupees thirty thousand. Freight charges rupees thirty thousand. Next one, installation and erection charges. Installation and erection charges. Installation, installation and installation and erection. Installation and erection charges. Installation and erection charges rupees. Installation and erection charges rupees six thousand. Rupees six thousand. Next one. Next one is the insurance cost rupees five thousand. Insurance cost. Insurance cost rupees five thousand. Insurance cost rupees five thousand. Next one. Transportation charges rupees six thousand. Transportation charges, transportation, transportation charges, transportation charges rupees of six thousand. Transportation charges rupees six thousand. Next one, tax duties, tax, taxes, comma duties, comma fees. Taxes, comma duties, comma fees, and charges, and charges, and charges, rupees, rupees four thousand, rupees four thousand. Next one, right? The next one. Next one is the incentives paid to sales personnel. Incentives, incentives paid to in. Incentives paid to sales personnel. Sales personnel. Incentives paid to sales personnel. Sales personnel. Rupees five thousand. Personnel rupees five thousand. Incentives paid to sales personnel rupees five thousand. Next one. Next one is the warranty expenses. Next one is the warranty expenses. Next one is the warranty expenses. Warranty expenses rupees. Warranty expenses rupees three thousand. Warranty expenses rupees three thousand. 
okay next point i will write here okay, i will write from starting next one after warranty expenses after warranty expenses materials imported from uk materials materials imported from uk materials imported from uk materials imported from okay. i hope you are hearing my voice it is materials imported from uk materials 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 imported from uk materials imported from uk write with the bracket write with the bracket including bcd okay. including materials imported from uk now write with the bracket including bcd bcd means basic custom duty basic custom duty but excluding igst including bcd but uh, excluding igst but uh, excluding igst but excluding igst close the bracket rupees rupees 10000 rupees 10000 rupees 10000 okay rupees 10000 these are all the information regarding expenses these are all the information regarding expenses you write in the next line you write in the next line but but the selling price includes the following but the selling price but the selling price includes the following but the selling price includes the following but the selling price Includes the following. Okay, you write in the next line. You write in the next line. First one, trade discount. First one, trade discount. First one is the trade discount. First one is the trade discount. Write within the bracket. It is allowed. before or at the time of supply it is allowed it is allowed before or at the time of supply it is allowed before or at the time of supply at the time of supply that is the first one okay. and one more is there one more is there cost of durable and returnable packing okay it's a, it's amount is trade discount amount is trade discount amount is rupees 10000 trade discount amount is rupees 10000 trade discount amount is rupees 10000 next one cost of durable and returnable packing rupees 5000 cost of cost of durable cost of durable and returnable packing and returnable packing and returnable packing rupees 5000 rupees 5000 cost of durable and returnable packing rupees 5000 okay that's the problem okay this is a problem so this problem is for 24 marks and is very important So we need to calculate the value of taxable supply or transaction value or transaction value. I hope all have written the problem. Now we can start with the solution. Okay, start with the solution. Solution. Write the solution and write the heading. Computation of value of taxable supply or transaction value. Okay, write the heading. Computation of value of taxable supply or transaction value. the solution 
solution. Draw three columns. Draw three columns. First column is for particulars. And next two columns are for maintaining amount. Okay, particulars. Then next two columns are for maintaining amount. Okay. Okay. See the problem that the we have to calculate the the value of taxable supply, and the first information is the the sales price. Information regarding sales price. Selling price is given. Selling price is rupees one lakh fifty thousand, and the information is given is that it does not include the following expenses. The expenses are there's the information regarding all the expenses. Okay. Whether it is possible or not, okay. Actually, what in the last a uh, problem, what we have calculated, we calculated in a step by step manner. We started from the cost of materials purchase. We started from cost of materials purchase. Actually, it is like that only. Actually, it is like that only. Firstly, we need to purchase the materials, purchase the raw materials. That why we purchase the raw materials. That is for the purpose of production. Okay, but at what what happens at the time of production? There are we incur some expenses and. Uh, After incurring some expenses, after processing the raw materials, we will produce the product. Okay. After producing the product, we need to sell that product. So at the time of selling, also we will incur some expenses. So what we were doing, all the expenses we were adding. Okay. Expenses incurred for producing the product and expenses incurred for selling the product. Everything, everything we were adding. Okay. That is right. That is right. That is right. But here the case is that. There is no difference actually. There is no difference. It is same. It is same. In sales price rupees one lakh fifty thousand is given, but it does not include the following. Okay. It is uh, uh, this kind of problem is only for the examination only. But in the in the practical world, it is not possible. It is not applicable. Okay. For if uh, we we should study, uh, we should work out this problem from the point of view of your examination only. Once the sales price is given, once the selling price is given, that means it is all it it is inclusive of all the expenses. I hope you know that selling price means it is after adding all the expenses, cost of profit, cost of production plus profit. Okay, that's what the selling price finally. Okay, but here the key it is given that uh, it is uh, why it is given. It is actually it is not wrong. It is to test you. It is to test you whether uh, which expenses are to be added to the. Uh, selling price of the product. That's why this kind of problem is given the problem examination. Okay, so actually selling price means it is already inclusive for all the expenses, and it is clearly stated in the problem. It is clearly stated in the problem. See that sentence very clearly. Sales price of rupees one lakh fifty thousand. Sales price of rupees one lakh fifty thousand. But it does not include the following. It is all all the below given expenses are not uh, included in the selling price of rupees one lakh fifty thousand. So we need to add. Add the expenses. In that, while adding, we must be cautious whether it should be added or not. Okay. So for testing your uh, knowledge, it is given like that. Okay. So we should start from the sales price itself. Start with the sales price. Start with the selling price. Selling price. Selling price is rupees one lakh fifty thousand. Selling price is rupees one lakh fifty thousand. Selling price is rupees one lakh fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Add, add inclusions. Add inclusions. What we need need to be included. The other there is information regarding there is clear cut provision under section 15 subsection 2 of the CDST Act 2017. I I hope you have already gone through the provisions of section 15 subsection 2 of the CDST Act 2017. Okay, see the first one, first expenses. Okay, what 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 it has not included? First one, pre delivery inspection charges. Okay, there is information regarding pre delivery inspection charges. Inspection charges of rupees ten thousand. Okay, what is this expense? What is this expenses? Manufacturer has spent ten thousand rupees for the uh, inspection charges. Okay, now it's a pre-delivery. Okay, before now the product is ready. Now the final product is ready. 
but before supplying it to the customer before it selling it to the customer it has to be inspected it has to be inspected why it has to be inspected now the product is ready but ultimately who is going to consume ultimately who is going, going to use that that's the consumers okay now it has to be inspected what we what we, uh, we need to make the inspection whether it is a whether it is a consumable consumable or not whether the product produced is quality due or not whether it is uh, correctly packed or not whether the uh, quantity is in a uh, right uh, uh, the quantities are correct or not everything should be inspected for that purpose the uh, the manufacturer has paid a fees of rupees 10000 10000 rupees so he spent 10000 rupees from his pocket now he needs to recover that 10000 so if we want to recover that 10000 it should be added to the price of the product okay it should be added to the price of the product right the first one pre delivery inspection charges pre delivery inspection charges i am writing the short form you should write in the full form i am writing the short form you should write in the full form pre delivery inspection charges pre delivery inspection charges rupees 10000 pre delivery inspection charges rupees 10000 okay next one next one is the publicity expenses okay next one is the publicity expenses rupees 25000 okay he spent 25000 rupees for the purpose of publicity okay what is that publicity now the product is ready now the final product is red is ready but uh, how the consumer will come to know about the product how the consumer will come to know when there is a uh, one product is there how they will come to know so that means we have to create a awareness in the minds of the customers we have to create a awareness in the minds of the customers so, so publicity expense means it, it is a, it is all the promotional expenses it is all the promotional expenses we can give the example of uh, advertising advertising that we can create a uh, awareness in the minds of the customers okay so all the promotional tools can be given uh, given as the example of uh, publicity expenses for the purpose of publishing uh, for publishing his product in the market he spent 25000 rupees so he spent 25000 rupees from his pocket from his pocket so he need to recover that recover the what is the amount spent for the purpose of publicity now if he wants to recover he should add that publicity expenses to the price of the product okay next right publicity expenses next is the publicity expenses rupees 25000 publicity expenses rupees 25000 publicity expenses rupees 25000 next one next one is the packing cost next one is the packing cost it is very simple it is very simple no to no need to explain more product is ready now now it has to be packed down so what is the expenses incurred for packing that product that's what the packing cost packing cost is rupees 15000 okay he spent 15000 he need to recover now just imagine just ask a question to yourself just ask a question to yourself you will get the answer okay there are lengthy of list there are a more number of list in the form of transaction value but i made it very simple you don't remember all the uh, expenses you remember you 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 should you should give you, you must be able to give the answer to the uh, question you should ask a question in uh, in yourselves then you should you only should give the answer okay now that he spent uh, 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 amount of uh, 15,000 for packing cost so he spent from his pocket so he need to recover that 15,000 if you want to recover it should be added next one is the packing cost next one is the packing cost he spent 15,000 for packing cost next one next one is the cost of special packing rupees 5,000 okay what is that special whether it is special packing or general packing that is not required that is not required for us he spent 5000 he spent 5000 rupees he need to recover that 5000 next right cost of special packing cost of special packing cost of special packing rupees 5000 cost of special packing rupees 5000 cost of special packing rupees 5000 okay. uh, whether it is visible to you or i don't know but uh, i hope you are hearing my voice 
on that basis please kindly write in your notes okay now this is the cost of special parking okay cost of special parking group is 5000 okay next one materials purchase okay now we are getting the information regarding materials purchase actually it should have been given in the uh, uh, it should have been given firstly uh, because the materials are required okay materials raw materials are required without raw materials we cannot produce the product okay actually this information is now given in the uh, first stage but it is given now so it is given with cost of materials purchased but it is, it is exclusive of gst rupees 10000 okay 10000 worth of materials are purchased 10000 worth of materials are purchased and is given very clearly that very very clear that it is exclusive of gst it is good if it is inclusive of gst at that time we should deduct the uh, tax paid amount tax paid amount but it is already exclusive of gst that is amount uh, amount is rupees 10000 that's as per the provisions of the uh, section 15 section uh, subsection 2 of the cgst act it is very clearly stated that all other tax amount has to be included all other tax amount uh, has to be included at the time of calculation of value of taxable supply but excluding other than gst other than gst it is already exclusive of GST. It is already exclusive of GST. So no no need to deduct the GST amount. We should write. We, could, we should add the what is the amount that we spent for the purpose of purchasing material should, should be added to the price of the uh, product. That is rupees ten thousand. Okay. Cost of materials purchased. Cost of materials purchased rupees ten thousand. Cost of materials purchased rupees ten thousand. Okay. So the next one see the next one next one is the design and development charges okay now the that the manufacturer has decided to decided to produce the product now the manufacturer is decided to produce a product now uh, he is thinking the what should be the design of the product what should be the design of the product and how it should be developed okay just imagine any product in your mind just imagine in any product in your mind just imagine the design of that product just just imagine the design of that product you will come to know about that what is the design and development charges okay for the person who has designed the person who has developed the design of that product he should be provided with a discharge he should be provided with his charge so he has the manufacturer has given the given the charge of design and development expenses so he spent 5000 what is the amount of design and development charges it is 5000 rupees for design and development charges so it should be added to the price of the product next one is the design and development charges design and development charges rupees 5000 design and development charges rupees 5000 okay next next year. Next is the royalty charges. What is the royalty paid? Royalty charges. Royalty charges is rupees 4000. Royalty charges is rupees 4000. Manufacturer spent 4000 rupees for the purpose of paying royalty. For the purpose of paying royalty. Now, what does mean by royalty? What does mean by royalty? So, we know the concept of rent, lease, and the interest. When we pay the interest, when we take a loan from the bank, we need to pay monthly interest that is called as interest that is interest and if we reside in a any apartment at that time we need to pay the monthly rent that is called as rent like that royalty is also as a kind of an rent but the term we use is the uh, uh, royalty is different from rent and interest how it is uh, uh, different from uh, rent and interest royalty is the agreement royalty is an agreement between the the person who has given the right of use in the asset okay so royalty is the uh, fixed amount paid by the the person who is using the uh, intellectual property rights and uh, and other assets but it is not of original one actually it is not his property actually the person who is using and the manufacturer has uh, used the uh, one property of the other person 
the one assets of the other person actually it is not the uh, property or assets of the manufacturer for using that property he has to pay a royalty monthly or uh, in a fixed installment in a fixed installment okay best examples are the intellectual property rights for using copyrights for using trademarks for using patents for using the trade secrets for using the industrial designs where well, the person who is using has to pay the royalties so he paid a royalty charge of rupees he paid the royalty charges of rupees 4000 so that is a cost for him so that needs to be added royalty charges royalty charges rupees 4000 royalty charges rupees 4000 royalty charges rupees 4000 next one advertising charges advertising charges okay next one is the advertising okay actually it will come under the publicity uh, expenses only but it is given separately it is given separately actually it, it is a uh, promotional expense advertisement expense is the promotional expense for the purpose of promoting the product for the purpose of creating awareness in the minds of the customer the manufacturer spent the manufacturer spent 14000 for the purpose of advertising so as he spent now he needs to now he wants to recover that 14000 if you want to recover that 14000 if he needs to recover that 14000 it should be added to the price of the product okay if you do that he will lose that 14000 okay advertisement expenses or charges 14000 14000 okay next one servicing charges next one is a servicing charge what does mean by servicing charges it may be the servicing charges of machines the machines are installed in a factory so it has to be serviced in a periodical installment in a periodical installment so servicing charges of the machines so he spent he spent uh, 5000 for the purpose of servicing charges so add 5000 5000 service charges okay after servicing charges next selling expenses even selling expenses is given separately what is the what does mean by selling 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 expenses means expenses incurred for selling the product Ex this is the ex these are the expenses incurred for selling the product so they may be the expenses of uh, salesman's commission salesman's commission can be, can be given the best example and uh, other uh, sales department sales department personnel's uh, uh, salaries and all other expenses uh, yeah, even promotional expenses can also be considered as the selling expenses okay so why, why why we make the promotion why we make the promotion for the purpose of selling for the purpose of selling we will like the uh, for creating demand in the minds of the customers we will uh, do the promotional uh, expenses they are also yeah, can be given as the example of selling expenses so he spent he spent manufacturer spent 25000 rupees for the purpose of selling expenses so he has to recover that 25000 now next slide selling expenses rupees 25000 selling expenses rupees 25000 okay i will continue here okay selling expenses rupees 25000 Okay, you continue, okay? Don't write selling price, don't write selling price. For my understanding purpose, I'm writing now. You have already written. Okay, you have already written. Selling price is 1 lakh 50,000. Next expense. Next expense. Freight charges. Freight charge. He spent 30,000 rupees as a freight as a freight okay as a freight 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 is a transportation cost freight means it is a transportation cost for carrying goods for carrying goods that may be in truck that may be in train that may be in uh, uh, aeroplane so these are the transportation expenses of the manufacturer okay freight charge he spent uh, uh, 30,000 for the purpose of freight or transportation even that should also be added okay because nobody is ready to lose the amount. Okay, nobody is ready to lose the amount. He spent 30,000. 
nobody is ready to lose 30000 he should add to the price of the product he should add it to the price of the product freight charges freight charges rupees 30000 freight charges rupees 30000 next installation and erection charges for the purpose of installation and erection charges, he spent 6,000 rupees. He spent 6,000 rupees for the purpose of installation and erection. So, it's an installation and erection charges of the installing the machine in the factory. Okay. As per section 65, subsection 29 of the uh, Finance Act 1994, Finance Act 1994, any service that the uh, installation and the erection and the commissioning means any service provided by the commissioning and installation agency in relation to the erection, commissioning and installation of plant, one is the plant and the one is the machines and the equipment or the structure, any other structure. That is called as, that's what the meaning of the term installation and the erection charges. Okay. So, it is very clearly defined under section 65, subsection 29 of the Finance Act 1994. Okay. So, these are the expense, it is a service provider. He spent, he spent 6,000 rupees to the, 6,000 rupees for the purpose of installation and erection of the machine. So, actually it is the service provided by the installation and uh, commissioning agency it's a service for the installation and commissioning agency okay so what does mean by erection erection means erection means so it's a um, it's a cost of preparing physical site for placing the machine it's a cost of uh, cost of preparing the basic cost of preparing physical site for placing the machinery in a particular place and you know what does mean by what does mean by installation installation means it is a installing it is a making ready uh, the machinery for the purpose of using for the purpose of use then commissioning one more word is that actually that word is not given here here only two words are given installation and uh, installation and erection but as per section 26 uh, six, uh, as per section 65 and um, uh, subsection 29 it is very clearly given it, actually these three are uh, uh, same uh, these three words are used uh, in a, as a single word erection installation and commissioning commissioning means we are checking checking whether the machine is ready to use commissioning means it's a checking it's a final check commissioning means it's a final check whether the machine is ready to use or not that's what the commission so he spent six the manufacturer has spent six thousand rupees for the purpose of installation and erection so as he spent six thousand now he needs to recover that six thousand rupees so if he needs to recover it should be added to the price of the product right the next one installation and erection charges rupees six thousand rupees six thousand rupees 6000 next insurance cost insurance cost of is 5000 okay insurance cost of is 5000 means it is not the value of the policy it is not the value 5000 is not the value of the policy 5000 is the amount of premium it's 5000 is the amount of premium everyone so that the manufacturer has paid the premium of rupees 5000 okay so that the uh, that the manufacturer has may have insured his factory the, or the manufacturer have insured his uh, product okay if uh, the product uh, may damage by fire okay may damage by accident so in order to uh, safeguard his uh, property and the product uh, safeguard against the property or product he has insured his factory or may he may have insured his uh, product so he paid the premium of rupees uh, 5000 okay as that that is a premium is an expense for the manufacturer as it is an expense for the manufacturer as it is associated as it is related to the product of the as it is related to product it should be added to the price of the product so next insurance cost next one is the insurance cost 5000 rupees insurance cost 5000 rupees okay next one transportation charges transportation charge 6000 again it is given separately 
actually transportation charges freight means freight itself is a transportation charges so we can uh, take this as a uh, internal transportation the charges that is a transportation charges within the factory we can take uh, you can assume like that because as uh, there is a, there is also information regarding freight also and uh, one more information is also regarding uh, transportation charge it is given separately so we can take this as a transportation charges within the factory that is a internal transportation charges he spent uh, um, he spent uh, 6000 rupees for the purpose of transportation as he spent from his pocket he needs to recover that rupees 6000 rupees if you want to recover the 6000 it should be added to the price of the product add 6000 transportation charges transportation charges 6000 rupees transportation charges 6000 rupees next taxes duties fees and charges okay rupees 4000 taxes duties fees and charges rupees 4000 so it's very clearly stated under section 15 subsection 2 of the cgst act 2017 first provision is this one okay we should we need to consider we should consider all the taxes duties fees and charges levyable under any law for the time being it is in force other than gst so this is the taxes paid of uh, taxes paid other than the gst act so as it is pay, uh, paid uh, other than the gst act it should be uh, included at the time of calculation of value of taxable supply okay next right taxes duties fees and charges okay tax amount is 4000 it should be added to the price of the product okay. next one incentives paid to sales person in rupees 5000 okay manufacturer has provided has paid uh, incentive of rupees 5000 to the sales person Okay. in order to appreciate in order to appreciate their effort okay he has provided an incentive of rupees 5000 to the sales person okay that incentive may be the commission that incentive may be commission that incentive may be bonus as he has paid from his pocket 5000 even this that incentive amount should also be considered at the time of calculation of value of taxable supply right the next one incentive paid to incentive paid to sales person i am writing the short form you should write the full form okay incentive paid to sales person rupees 5000 okay rupees 5000 rupees 5000 okay next one warranty expenses rupees 3000 warranty expenses rupees 3000 okay whether it should be included or whether it should be added to the price of the product or not okay he spent 3000 rupees for the purpose of uh, warranty okay he spent 3000 rupees for the purpose of okay. actually it is not the spent amount actually uh, warranty first we need to clarify first we need to clear with this uh, uh, term warranty actually 3000 is not the spent amount okay warranty warranty ex expense means that is the that the manufacturer expects to is expecting is expecting uh, he may incur 3000 as a warranty expense or one more possibility sir or he may have incurred uh, such uh, uh, kind of exp uh, expense in the previous sale of the product in the previous sale of the product so how this warranty expense will be uh, determined actually it is not the actual expense warranty expense of rupees 3000 is not the actual expense so it is uh, uh, decided or it is determined on the basis of the uh, previous uh, uh, sale of the product previous sale of the product. as a percentage of previous sale of the product it will be uh, data mine. Okay, so it is expected that he may incur three thousand as warranty expenses. Okay, so we need to clear with this uh, clear here. What what is the difference between the term warranty and the guarantee? Okay, warranty is an uh, uh, assurance. Warranty is an assurance that the if the product uh, what the uh, it is an assurance that is a uh, usually uh, will will be in a written form. Uh, if uh, any if the product uh, uh, gets damaged or uh, 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 because of any uh, problem 
it will be repaired or replaced it will be repaired or replaced so but the guarantee is uh, uh, different from the term uh, different from warranty warranty guarantee is, is just a promise uh, just a promise if the product is only if the product is below the quality at that time it will be replaced or um, or repaired okay but uh, warranty if the product gets damaged in the case of warranty if the product gets damaged uh, as per the terms of the um, product it will be uh, repaired or replaced okay so in the case of uh, guarantee no money will be in the case of uh, uh, guarantee even money may al will also be refunded but in case of uh, warranty money will not be refunded okay we may be thinking that uh, so we should purchase we should purchase the product on the basis of its warranty period okay uh, we, we should be very clear it should be you should be very cautious while purchasing the product uh, you should purchase we should give more importance to warranty rather than guarantee okay so we you can replace your product you can replace your product okay or you can repair or repair your product but the specified period is there they will mention the specified period uh, very clearly very clearly they will mention in the uh, product itself so uh, on until uh, that pre period we can repair or replace our product okay uh, so uh, be uh, what uh, i want to tell you is that uh, uh, warranty expense of rupees 3000 and most of the people think that uh, if our product gets damaged uh, as it is said in the uh, terms of contract terms of uh, uh, the agreement uh, uh, then that product will be replaced or repaired at free of cost okay product will be repaired or replaced at a free of cost okay my dear students this is not at a free of cost that the repair or replacement is not at a free of cost that the warranty expenses manufacture is already added to the price of the product okay what price we pay to the product at the time of purchase that is inclusive of warranty expense that is inclusive of warranty expense so now if your product is repair damaged now if you are going to repair that product you, you may be thinking that now we are not uh, paying anything now we are not paying any amount that they are repairing at a free of cost it is not like that it is not at a free of cost the your warranty expense you have already paid you have already paid okay so what is the disadvantage here it's not a disadvantage so if your product if our product is not damaged within the specified period within the warranty period the what expense he has added to the price of the product that will be the profit for the manufacturer that will be the profit for the manufacturer so uh, he spent he expected he expected 3000 as a warranty expenses it should be added to the price of the product 3000 warranty expenses okay uh, here one thing incentive paid to the incentive paid to the sales person will is 5000 okay it's looking like a, for me it is looking like a 3000 so it is 5000 yeah i hope you have written 5000 next the warranty expenses is rupees 3000 warranty expenses is rupees 3000 warranty expenses is rupees 3000 next one materials imported from uk materials imported from uk and it is given in the bracket also it is given in the bracket also including we study basic custom duty okay we will study uh, de uh, study detailed about the basic custom uh, custom duties in the last chapter at that time i will clarify what does mean by basic custom duty so now so it is a materials imported from uk so it is the import of materials it's a purchase import means it's a purchase it's a purchase so we spend in the when we purchase we'll spend we'll spend so money goes from us so when we money go, when the money goes from us we should think whether it should be added or not as it is an import then what is given here it is including base study but excluding igst for the import of goods and services integrated goods and services taxes are applicable but it is it is very clearly given that is excluding igst as it is excluding igst we need not think about gst actually we should not include gst at the time of 
calculation of value of taxable supply. It's very clearly stated. You should not include GST at the time of value of uh, calculating the value of taxable supply. But we can, but we should include all other taxes paid. We should include all other taxes paid. So basic custom duty come under the part of custom duty, other taxes, tax, other tax duty spaces. So we should calculate. Okay, so uh, it is not a problem. If it is included, it is good. Okay, no problem with, with, with this. So materials imported from UK. Import means it's a purchase. That means when we import, we need to make the payment. Okay, he made the payment of rupees ten thousand for the import of materials. Let's write the import of materials from UK. Import of materials from UK, including wasted. Right. Okay. Import of materials from UK, including PCD. PCD means basic custom duty. Including PCD means basic custom duty. Rupees ten thousand. Rupees ten thousand. Rupees ten thousand. All the expenses are all just uh, verify. Any expenses are missed or not? Okay, missed. So all the expenses are over. Now we can make the total of. Uh, uh, all make the total make the total make the total calculate in your calculator calculate in your calculator don't write this one If I write here, that will not be visible to you. That's why I'm continuing here only. Don't write this one. You have written already. I'm writing. What is the total now? The what is the total? Uh, actually, the total of the expenses. Make the calculation in your calculator. I'm using my calculator. I'm using my calculator. So make the total of the expenses. Free delivery inspection charges rupees ten thousand. Publicity expenses rupees twenty five thousand, parking cost rupees fifteen thousand, cost of special parking is rupees five thousand, maintenance purchase exclusive of GST is rupees ten thousand, and the design and development charges rupees five thousand, royalty charges rupees four thousand, next advertising charges rupees fourteen thousand. Then servicing charges rupees five thousand. Then selling expenses rupees twenty five thousand. Then flight charges rupees thirty thousand. Then installation and erection charges rupees six thousand. Insurance cost rupees five thousand. Then transportation charges rupees six thousand. Then insurance cost rupees five thousand. Then whether I missed? Okay. I added transportation charges firstly. I will add the tax amount now. Tax amount four thousand. Then incentive paid rupees five thousand. Then warranty expenses rupees three thousand. Then uh, materials imported from UK is rupees ten thousand. Ten thousand. Then I should add the total amount is now. Total expenses is rupees one lakh ninety seven thousand. Total expenses is rupees one lakh ninety thousand ninety seven thousand. Just uh, verify your calculator. Okay. Total. 
total expenses is rupees ninety seven thousand. Is rupees ninety one second. I will calculate again. Okay, I missed the calculation. I will calculate. I am calculating again. First, uh, pre-delivery expenses, then uh, publicity expenses, then parking cost, then uh, cost of special parking, then uh, metals purchase should be ten thousand, then design and development charges five thousand, then royalty charges four thousand, then advertising charges fourteen thousand. Then servicing charge is five thousand. Then selling expenses twenty five thousand. Then freight charge is thirty thousand. Then installation and erection charge is six thousand. Then insurance cost five thousand. Then transportation charge is six thousand. Then taxes four thousand. Then incentive paid five thousand. Then warranty expense is three thousand. Then the materials purchased, uh, materials imported from UK is ten thousand. The total expenses is one lakh eighty seven thousand. One lakh eighty seven thousand. One lakh eighty seven thousand. I'm writing here total one lakh eighty seven thousand. One lakh eighty seven thousand. One lakh eighty seven. One lakh eighty seven thousand plus one lakh fifty thousand. One lakh fifty thousand. That is one lakh eighty seven thousand plus one lakh fifty thousand is three lakh thirty seven thousand. Three lakh thirty seven thousand. Three lakh thirty seven thousand. Okay. Next. Next there is an in, uh, in, there is also information regarding. But the selling price includes the following. Okay. So it is very clearly stated uh, under section. Uh, Uh, 15 subsection 3 of the CGS Act 2017. If uh, any discount is uh, received before or at the time of supply, if that is recorded in the invoice, that should be uh, de deducted or excluded. Okay. And if the any supply any discount is received after the time of supply, also that you know that should also be. Uh, excluded at the time of calculation of value of taxable supply. Here is an information regarding trade discount, and it is very clearly stated in the bracket also. It is uh, uh, allowed before or at the time of supply. The trade discount is rupees ten thousand. So we have to exclude now as a procedure less uh, exclusions, less exclusions, less exclusions. First one is the. Trade discount, trade discount, trade discount rupees ten thousand. Trade discount rupees ten thousand. Next one, there is information regarding cost of durable and returnable parking. Cost of durable and returnable parking. Why it should be deducted? I explained while uh, in the introduction to concept of value of taxable supply. So. Even it this should also be deducted while calculating value of a taxable supply because this should not be considered as the uh, cost of the product. Even this should not be considered as the cost of the product. Okay. Say for example, if your product is a milk, if your product is a milk, you will supply the milk to the uh, customers, particularly the retailers or wholesalers, in a tub. Okay, you will supply the milk to the the uh, uh, wholesalers or retailers in a tub. Okay, so you will not give that tub to the retailers or the wholesalers. Okay, you will uh, get uh, take back that tubs or contain or uh, tubs to uh, your factory. Okay, that's what the cost of durable or returnable packing. Okay, that should not be considered as the cost of the product uh, as per the GST Act. Okay, so you can give give the example of trays also. You will not give the trays to the 
or uh, wholesalers or retailers. You will not give the containers. You will take back that. You will take back that, and you will use that. It is it is considered as the reusable products. Okay. I told you to search the examples of the cost of durable and retainable packing. I hope you have searched. Okay, there are all the uh, all reusable products are the uh, durable and retainable can be given as the example of cost of durable and retainable packing. Its cost is rupees five thousand. Its cost is rupees five thousand. Its cost is rupees five thousand. Total it is fifteen thousand rupees. Total it is fifteen thousand rupees. Okay, two lakh two. Three lakh thirty-seven thousand minus fifteen thousand equal to three lakh twenty-two thousand. Three lakh twenty-two thousand. Three lakh twenty-two thousand. Three lakh twenty-two two thousand is the cost of production. Okay. Three lakh twenty-two thousand is the cost of production. As a procedure, we should add the profit margin. Okay. Don't forget to follow the procedure. Profit margin. Okay. There is no information regarding profit margin because this is inclusive of the assumption is three lakh twenty two thousand is already inclusive of profit. Okay, find the right the final answer two lakh twenty three lakh twenty two thousand three lakh twenty two thousand is the value of taxable supply. Three lakh twenty two thousand is the value of taxable supply or the transaction value. Okay, right here it is the transaction. Value or value of taxable supply three lakh twenty two. There is no information regarding what is the applicable rate of GST. That information is not given, and we cannot charge the tax here because as the what is the product exactly is not known. I showed in the last class also if the product is known, particular product is known based upon the product we can charge a GST. Okay, so we cannot charge a calculator GST payable here. Uh, here it is an end. It's a final answer. Final answer is the three lakh twenty two thousand. The value of taxable supply or the transaction value is three lakh twenty two thousand. It is a very very important problem. Dear students, uh, uh, the question may not repeat, but question may not repeat. But a similar kind of uh, there's a possibility of asking similar kind of questions in the uh, examination. Okay, I hope this problem is very clear to you all. If you have any doubt, you can contact me. Okay, I will. I'm always there to help you uh, with this. Uh, I would like to conclude this class. Okay, we will meet you in the next class. Till then, thank you.